and welcome back to Amazing Psychology. It's been a while, but I'm back here and let's get started with all the learning that's waiting for us. So today I'm going to be discussing the linguistic developments in infancy. Let's get right into it. So research has shown that the earliest bit of learning about linguistic development happens in utero, that is in the mother's womb while the baby has not yet been born. The baby starts to recognize the patterns of speech within the mother's voice. That's amazing, isn't it? Children begin to learn language, not in a structured format, but through observation and mimicry of what they hear other people talking about in their presence. And this kind of development usually goes from the simple kind of language that we've seen to very, very complex language later on. At about four months of age, babies can start reading lips and they can discriminate speech sounds. So they start speaking in a language that's called babbling, which involves sounds like Baba, Gaga, and uh, Dada, Mama, all these kind of sounds. At this stage, mostly, that is till the age of about four months, children use their bodies, uh, gestures, and crying, and also pre-vocal vocalizations to communicate their needs and wants. By six months of age, Children slowly have these gestures replaced by speech and the babbling slowly starts turning into actual pronounced words. Between about 6 and 12 months, the child starts using personal pronouns such as I, me, my. Now this actually shows that the child is self-aware and has self-consciousness, which is amazing. By the age of about 12 months, the child starts uttering their first understandable words. These can be mommy, daddy, dog, yes, words like these, which we see and hear commonly in children of that age. By about 18 months or about one and a half years, the child starts learning how to use two word combinations, such as my drink or my mommy. All right, so let's summarize what we've learned so far. Language development in infants goes from the simple to the complex. It starts off with simple recollections of words without understanding the meaning of the word. But later on, the child starts understanding the meaning of it and also making connections between the different words that they have learned. Gradually, the vocabulary increases, the number of words they know increases, and so does the connections that they form between the different words. So that's how we progress from simple to complex. Now there are four different components of language development in infants. The first is phonology, the second is semantics, the third is grammar and the fourth is pragmatics. Let's take a look at all of these now. So first we start with phonology. Phonology actually refers to the rules about the structure and the sequence of speech sounds. So actually phonology refers to the speech sounds, the sounds in language, and it refers to the structure of it and the sequence of it. So if you understand or look back at what we had learned before, children start the process of babbling and cooing when they are very small, as soon as they are born. Most of the cooing involves vowel sounds. We know that the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So the sounds produced are A, A, E, O, U. Most of the cooing and babbling involves these kind of sounds. By about four months, as I told you before, the babbling starts full on. And babbling involves a combination of a consonant and a vowel. So the consonants are the speech sounds like T, D, B. And the vowels are the ones which we just talked about right now. So when you combine both of them, we get words like Gaga. Baba, Dada, just like we talked about a few minutes before. So this is the progression of language that happens at the age of four months. Between one and two years, babies start recognizing the correct pronunciation of words. Words especially that are familiarly used and regularly used around them. Now children find it very difficult to start saying the words that they hear regularly just as it is. So they start improvising or they use phonological strategies. What are these strategies? They use strategies to simplify the way the word is pronounced. For example, in the case of TV, they replace the first sound and 
repeat it twice. So if the word is TV, they say DD. Or in words where certain portions of the word are not so pronounced and the other portions are more pronounced in speech, like banana, they replace it with nana. So this is how children start the first phase of their language. And this is the phonological aspect of how they learn language. Now we move to semantics. So what is semantics? It consists of vocabulary and how the different concepts and feelings and um, needs to express themselves are expressed through words. So from the time a child is born to about one year, a baby's understanding of language changes and its ability to use language also develops. So there are two aspects to this actually. The first part is understanding the language and the second part is using the language. Understanding the language happens far earlier than the ability to use the language. There's actually a gap of about five months. So when at about the age from birth to one year, a child is able to understand what the mother is saying, but not able to produce the sounds of it. However, about five months later, they are able to start producing the sounds of the words that they recognized long back. Between about one to two years, vocabulary grows to about 100 words. And between one to 24 months, something called fast mapping happens, which means children have a rapid ability to develop their vocabulary, to increase the number of words that they know. And then they also start acquiring words that include nouns and verbs. So till then it was just basic one words or combinations of two words. Now it's become nouns and verbs as well. Between the age of three and five, children start using words that they have created to compensate for situations that they don't know the word for. For example, if a child doesn't know that a person who spends time in the kitchen of a restaurant cooking is called a chef, they usually call the person a cooker because that's how they improvise and they create new words to explain what they're trying to say. Again, another thing happens. Sometimes they generalize a certain term, like every vehicle is called a car. They may not know that there are different types of vehicles like a car, there's a van, there's a lorry, there's a bus, there's uh, SUVs. So when they don't know the difference between all of these, they just use a general term called car to express everything. Also notable at this age is that children understand what metaphors mean. So it's very clear that the learning about semantics, which is vocabulary and how words are used in different contexts, goes from again simple to complex in infancy. Now let's move to the next phase or the next component of language in infancy, which is grammar. Now grammar involves two parts. There's syntax and then there's morphology. Syntax refers to the rules in which words are usually arranged in a sentence. So we know that there's always going to be a subject, there will be a verb, there will be an object. This is the general structure of a sentence, a very simple sentence. And children start acquiring the ability to place words in this order. In morphology, which is a second component of grammar, we understand how to use grammatical markers. Now, when you call them grammatical markers, you might think it's something really huge, but no, it just refers to simple tense, present continuous, the different tenses that help us understand when the action is taking place or when that particular situation is occurring. So another factor that we know is between the age of one and two, children also start developing something called telegraphic speech. Telegraphic speech is the ability of a child to combine two words and speak it out. Two word combinations, which we just talked about a little while back. My mom, my juice, that dog, you know, combinations of words. So altogether, we've learned the three different components so far, and now we're moving on to the fourth component of language development in infancy, which is pragmatics. Now, pragmatics involves the rules for appropriate and effective communication, how to communicate, when to communicate, in what way to communicate. 
So there are different skills that are required for pragmatic communication. The first is the ability to use language for greeting people or the ability to use language in different ways for different situations. You don't use the same kind of language when you're trying to say hello to a person or when you're trying to request a person for something or when you're trying to place a demand. Each situation requires a different kind of language use. That's what pragmatics is and that's the first skill that you need to learn in pragmatics. The second is changing the way you talk depending on whom you are speaking to. Language use is not the same across all people. When you speak with your friends, you use a certain type of language. But when you speak to an adult, you use a different kind of language. Children start learning the difference between speech that is used with different kinds of people. That's the second kind of skill development. And the third is learning how to take turns when they are saying something or learning how to stay on a particular topic while conducting a conversation. That too is a skill that children learn at that particular age during the time of infancy. So by about age one, babies start engaging in something called joint attention. That is, they start being able to share their attention with someone else over something else. That is like they're playing with a doll and somebody else is sharing that particular experience with them. So they're able to share that experience with another person. By about one or two years of age, they are able to take turns when they're talking. So you know that a conversation requires two people to talk, right? That's, only, that's the time when it's called a conversation, otherwise it's just a one-sided communication. Children start learning that I say something and then I take a turn and let the other person speak a little bit and then I express my ideas again. And there's something called turn-taking when, when you engage in conversation. So children understand that and they also understand how to stay on a particular topic or maintain their attention on a particular topic while they are in conversation with someone. That is, if they start talking about their Barbie doll, they're going to stay on the topic of the Barbie doll for a little bit before they change or switch to another topic. It's not that they say one sentence about the Barbie doll and the next one is about a car. That's going to be quite awkward and won't, re won't um, result in a very effective conversation. So children start learning the importance of how to use the language or the words that they have learned effectively to communicate with different people, to communicate in different situations and also in taking turns in conversations. So altogether we have completed the four different components of language development in infants. Um, Again, I'm very happy to see you all. I'm very happy that you were all able to take a look at the video. It's been a while and I'm very excited to produce more videos for you. So happy learning and uh, let me know if you have any doubts. Thank you.